There's been heaps and heaps of people, I don't know why, recently asking about this car. Yeah. I don't know why. Now, after mentioning something about the Sephiro a few videos back, I was inundated with messages about the car saying, please do videos on it, please do videos on it. Yes, I do still own it. A lot of people thought that I sold it just because it hasn't been in videos for a very long time. But that, what you just saw, is all you're gonna get for now. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Yes, I do still own it. Now, the reason I went to see the Sephiro, well, I didn't go to see that car. I actually went to pick up another car, which is right here in my garage, is my mate's E30 Coupe here. Now, she's been sitting a long time. She's very, very dirty. She needs some bits put on her and a good, good cleanup, which, is what this video is gonna be about. Now one thing I always preach on this channel is variety, so never had a Beamer or a Euro car at all, I don't think. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. We'll take it for a drive first. I haven't touched the car, this is how I picked it up. All dusty and dirty, it hasn't even been driven for about six months until last night, until I went to pick it up. So we'll give it a good going over, talk about the car, what it's got, what it needs and we'll start the cleanup. So here she is in all her glory. 1988 318i Coupe Series 2 in bronze beige metallic. Now believe it or not, this is actually one of the colors that were on my short list for the Sephiro. Very, very nice color, like champagne. Two owner car, which is very, very cool. She is very dirty, she's been sitting a long time. So we're gonna go for a bit of a bust. Thought I'd do a walk around of it, show you what we're starting with. So 1.8, four cylinder. I am trying to convince the owner, have been for a very long time, me and a lot of his friends, to do a six cylinder swap into this, because it's such a good base. Like the two doors now are ridiculous prices, and this was bought a long time ago, so before the price hike. So you know, the, a good condition like this one, is in the mid-teens at the moment, where this was well, well under that. Less than half, actually. And this presents really, really well. Like, no rust, paints really, really good. Like, body-wise, it needs nothing. Just a really good cleanup. These actually are supposed to have black bars from memory, so these have been painted. It does have a front add-on on the front that Brandon's done. And it's also, it's got skirts, but there's one on this side and not one on this side. So I'm going to fit the other one. Uh, all this stuff is actually factory chrome. So this has all been painted black, which looks a million times better. Uh, it does have a spoiler for it, but I reckon leave the spoiler off. I don't know. 18 by 8s all around. They're like uh, BBS reps. They do really, really suit the car. Especially on this side that has the side skirt on it. <laughs> Look at this side. This side looks amazing. With the skirt on it. Whew. Now you may be wondering, why am I doing a video on this car? Well, this car really suits my values, right? And I'll explain why. One, it's a two owner car. So my mate bought this off the original owner. So all history, all that stuff can be dated back. Now in my eyes, when you start with a car, I would much rather start with a car that just needs a a drive line done into it. There's nothing worse than doing body, rust, all that stuff. So this car is a perfect, perfect base. Interior, like 95% immaculate. Like all the door trims are good. The seat just needs new piping on this one seat, but material, like for a 33 year old car, the material is not worn at all. And that's unfortunately not the case with the back seat. Not worn, but sun damage. And it's a bit shit because this center is one panel. So you pretty much got to do a whole back, back seat panel on this thing. Roof lining, amazing, not a mark on it. Dash all perfect under here. Has an aftermarket radio, but it still has the factory radio, which is very cool. And if you come on this side, factory books. With all the cards still in it. Service books, manual, everything. So very, very cool stuff. All the carpet's immaculate. And this should be really easy to clean because it's really, really thick, like heavy carpet. 
Uh, we are going to replace these, we have spare ones. Another really cool thing that he was showing me last night is this. Which apparently is very, very rare to have intact. The factory toolkit with everything in it, apart from the lock nut. <laughs> but it doesn't have the factory nuts on it anyway, so that'd be a bit useless. All the interior trims in the boot, which is good. The factory jack, wheel chock, everything. The standard head units in here. Just an all round, will, really well presented car and really good base to start with. Uh, does have BC golds all around. Uh, the wheels, but apart from that, it's pretty stock. It's got like a exhaust just to give it a bit of a note. You know, the lip add-ons. But perfect bait. You don't need to do anything to these cars to make them look good. As shown here. They're probably the most popular modified, you know, BMW. Especially in a coupe, they're super hard to find. One thing I've found with these coupes that are based off sedans in the first place is they don't shorten the wheelbase. So always when they go to a two door, the doors are huge. Like A86s, massive doors. Love how the bonnets open on these. Reminds me of my old RX-7. Makes working on the back of the engine super simple, but not the front like if you're doing a radiator. But apart from that, super simple in here. Um, stock engine, 1.8 four cylinder. Uh, makes about 110 horsepower or something from factory at the engine. But apart from that, stock is a rock in here. Stock airbox. It's just got the coilovers that I was talking about on Max Camber, of course. Still got all the under bonnet insulation, which is cool. It is very brittle though, so I've got to remember not to touch that while cleaning this car up. Stock headers and everything. Everything stock under here, so we'll clean this up nice, or as best as we can get it. I love this, it's still got all these on the back of the headlights, which is like an air guide to the air box, both sides. Anyway, we'll take this thing for a quick drive, and then we will get into tearing it down. Me 
Now the plan was uh, to wash this clay bar, do all the outside first, but being such a beautiful day today, I think I'll do the interior first to give the seats and stuff the best chance at drying out in the sun because I think tomorrow is gonna be shitty weather. The interior is actually really good. It's not that dirty, but you will see. Oh, actually, I'll take that back. The carpet's pretty stained. There's a big stain here in the back, which looks like Coke or coffee. So I'm gonna pull the seats out, front and rear, and see how clean we can get all this stuff while it's still a nice day. Just to show you what I was saying before about the carpet, how good the carpet is in these things. Look how thick that is, and the underlay. Good, good carpet. Another thing I just noticed with this car, it has all of these still on top of all the bolts here. So very, very rare to find cars, little knickknacks like that, where it has all these little bits and pieces still intact. And I forgot to mention, still has the factory BMW key, which I really, really dig. So let's get on to pulling this interior out. <laughs> Now with the seats out, you can see the full extent of this spill and stainage on the carpet. And how immaculate this dash is. And everything in here, pretty much. I have no idea how to get this out, and I also don't want to fuck with it too much because I don't want to bend the frame or you know tear anything trying to get it out when I've got no idea how to get it out. I might Google it a bit later, um, but I should be able to do that in the car. I also just noticed, how cool is that? All these have the BMW logo on them. Now Brandon's gave me front buckles to replace because the buttons are stuffed. I might have a go at these with uh, some heat to try and bring back the buttons. See how we go.
See what I mean? Your interior looks clean. That was a fresh out of the washing machine rag when I started the interior. Bit of a hydration session before uh, washing and clay bar in this car. I haven't eaten at all today, so this could go downhill very quick, this video. Let's see. So cars back in, all washed, clay barred. I didn't film all of that. It does get a bit boring. You're watching the same shit over and over again. Now this is the best bit about doing the interior. <laughs> that was all from the seats and carpet. So the interior is pretty much done. Came up really well. Smells a million times better in here now. All this is dry from sitting out in the sun all day. So tomorrow I'm going to run over it with the buff uh, to get all the little scratches and stuff out that the uh, clay bar gives it. And uh, try and get this skirt on. We don't have the lock nut to get the back wheels off, so I don't know how I'm going to go about this, but I'm going to give it a go. So we'll pick this up tomorrow. Whew. Boy, am I erect from doing this car. Now you know when the hat's backwards, shit got serious. So I wasn't happy with how the paint was after washing the car and clay bar in it. So I went and got one of these uh, clay bar sort of pads. A lot easier to use than the actual clay itself. Went over the whole car again. Then over the whole car with that and that. Then over the whole car with that and that. And then over the whole car with wax. So a couple of hours in here tonight, but it's come out really, really nice. So that's it for the outside and for cleaning this car. It's done some little, it had gone all, uh, obviously from like road tar and rocks flicking up, all the black had been all chipped. So I just did the black again on each side here. So that's nice and fresh. And the owner could not find the lock nut key. It is MIA. So this is gonna be the good side with the skirt. I tried my hardest with a right angle drill in the front and trying to jack up the back to, for the wheel to drop to see if I could get the right angle drill in there, but it just was not happening. So unfortunately the skirt's not going on this side. The interior, Jesus, did this come up good. It obviously won't show on this, but what a difference in here. Super, super clean. Protective coating on all the vinyl stuff everywhere, doors, back, all the trims, dash, center console and all that stuff. Same stuff on the tires. So hopefully Brandon can actually tell the difference because there a lot of work went into this and it probably looks no different on camera but I can tell you now it was a lot of work to bring this car back up. So I'll give you some parting shots and that'll be the end of this one I think. All nice and shiny out in the sun. Looks really, really good. It's really a shame we couldn't put that other skirt on. But this paint came up really nice. Beautiful. The car's actually really good body-wise. No dents, nothing. Anyway, Brandon, I am hope you're happy with it. And uh, I'm going to drop this back to him, swap the cars over, maybe come back with something different, I don't know. See you guys next week. <laughs>